Today in our 2006 Dodge Durango, we'll be installing the Kurt Hitch, part number 13072. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a drawbar, a bike rack, or cargo carrier. The center of the hitch pin hole is even with the outermost edge of the bumper, and from the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 21 inches. Now let's go ahead with installation. Note, first before we can begin installing the hitch, we'll need to go ahead and lower and remove the spare tire, which we've already done. Next, we'll go ahead and take the hitch and center it on the rear bumper beam. This will allow us to take a paint marker and mark the areas where the hitch will be attached with U-bolts at the bumper beam. Now our marks will line up with the U-bolts, so we'll mark and cut away the styrofoam plastic fascia reinforcement. First, I'll start with the utility knife to score and cut away as much of the styrofoam as possible. And then I'm gonna take a flat blade screwdriver and hammer and knock out the rest of the area. Before we slide our U-bolts into place, we're going to remove the four fasteners securing the rear bumper fascia. This will give us more room to maneuver our U-bolts into place. We can then go ahead and take our U-bolts and put them in place. Now with the U-bolts in place, this will be two of the four attachment points for our hitch. We'll go ahead and put the hitch in place, secure it with the half inch flange nuts provided with the install kit. Once we put them on finger tight, we can then go ahead and tighten them down and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. Now with our hitch secured, we need to go ahead and drill two half inch holes starting underneath the vehicle out towards the rear bumper. We'll place a block of wood between the bumper and bumper fascia as we drill out our holes so that we don't damage the fascia. Now we'll go ahead and take our half inch bit and use it as a center point and then start with a smaller step bit process to drill out the pilot hole enlarging to our half inch size. With the drilling done, we can now remove the block of wood. As you can see, it did its job. Now with both holes drilled out, we'll go ahead and take the bolt, flat washer, and flange nut to secure these two attachment points. Now with our hardware in place, we can go ahead and tighten it down. Next, we'll torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. Now with our hitch secured and torqued to specifications, we can go ahead and reinstall the fascia or bumper cover push pin fasteners. And that'll complete the install of our Kurt Hitch part number 13072 on our 2006 Dodge Durango.